What's up everyone, it's the Razor Edge, and today I'm here to bring you guys a bit of a different video. Today I'm here to bring you guys an unboxing video of some Gears of War vinyl figures from Funko. These are mystery minis to be precise, and you guys might have heard the term before, blind box opening, and that's the idea behind these. You've no idea what is inside, as you can see there's no kind of uh, uh, see-through plastic cover on them that you can determine which figure is on the inside. Um, so I actually have nine of these for you guys today, for me to open for you guys here today. You can have an idea of what's in the collection on the back there. We have anything ranging from Marcus, young Marcus Phoenix to be precise, to General Ram, to a Golden Gear, to a Glow in the Dark Pouncer versus a regular Pouncer. There's a lot there. There's Baird, there's Cole, uh, you know, there's Clayton Carmine, General Ram, Swarm Sniper, Locust. It's it's pretty cool. I have to say I'm surprised like that I don't really see much of these online but um cool thing was is that there was an event called GamerCon in Dublin and I was able to pick up a few of them while I was there they were actually uh, a lot cheaper so I said I would grab a few so we could do an unboxing for you guys so uh, <laughs> as for usual let's get stuck right in I've already already taken the courtesy of uh, taking off uh, all of the plastic that was over the top of them to kind of save time um, let's see so these aren't kind of yeah it looks like they're kind of a one-time package thing. It's, it doesn't look like you're supposed to put them back in or anything. I've not opened one of these before, so let's see. Hold on. Yeah, they kind of tuck in or something, looks like. Yeah, they kind of like tuck into each other. Oh, I'm going to savage job of this. There you go. So they, they kind of, yeah, slot into each other there. So if I rip some open, uh, apologies. But um, all right, let's see. First one. They're actually wrapped in a black bag, so you still actually have no idea what they're going to be uh, when you open them. So sorry, I'll open these on camera. I'll try anyways. Uh, there we go. Let's see what's inside the first one. And the very first one we get is Dom. Classic Dom, to be precise, actually. He's holding a Nasher. There you go. If you get a focus, hopefully, maybe. Kind of, sort of. Come on, camera. Do it, please. No. Ain't gonna do it. But hopefully you guys can see that anyways. That is Classic Dom. He looks real nice. I'll kind of set him down there. You guys can kind of... You get a real shot of my white arm, <laughs> pasty white Irish arm. So there we go. And then I'll kind of like restock these as time goes on kind of thing. If that makes sense. I'm not sure if this is the best format. I barely do unboxing videos. So on to the next. Um, so it seems like yeah, it's easier to unbox these off camera because of the angle that I'm at. But yeah, you get the idea that I haven't actually seen what's in these before. Um, another black bag. Let's see. All right, ripping it open. Come on now. Let's see what we get. <laughs> we'll be getting duplicates in real life, guys. I don't know. All right, so there we go. We got JD Phoenix. There we go. That's kind of the focus angle I can get. He looks real nice. Um, I definitely do love the style. Uh, I do prefer it over the pops, actually. I do like the more proportionate. They do have big heads, but um, it does look real good. Anyway, there's that. Put him next to Dom. All right, that's two out of the way. I'm gonna have to kind of make a mess here. So if you guys hear kind of a, a lot of things plonking down, I apologize. Uh, we'll go from this side since uh, that one was sitting there prior. I'll throw this down here. There we go. Um, let's see, all right, pull this off. Yeah, so it's kind of like a sticky glue on, for those of you who kind of get these and maybe want to preserve the box uh, in some shape or form, it's kind of like a little bit of glue that's like right here that sticks to there and you pull it off. And then you have these two bits of cardboard that it kind of crisscross and you can manage to like not rip them if you're careful. Um, but yeah, let's get into the next one here. This is our third one to be precise. I am kind of throwing these. So if you guys hear a bit of a bang, I apologize. Um, let's just see here. Just pulling it open. Is this Marcus? Oh, it is. <laughs> I can tell. Holy shit. Just from his feet. Is that a bad thing? I don't know. Um, there you go. There is Marcus. He's kind of holding his... Is this... Okay. He's holding a cog tag in his hand. So it's kind of like Gears of War 2, Marcus, to be precise. Uh, he's holding his Lancer up to the side there. Got his classic bandana. Oh, there's a good focus right there. Look at that. That's really good, actually. There we go. Have a turn around there. There's the back of his armor. Classic style, actually. Um, he's got a little pouch on his back there as well. Lancer's looking good. And the cog tags right there as well. Little focus, maybe? No? 
I'm not going to argue with the camera. If it doesn't focus, I'm not going to sit here trying to debate with it too long. So I'll put that there. Oh, I hit the camera. Shit. <laughs> All right, there's that. Um, next box. Let's see. We get rip this off. Do, 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 do. So, so far we have... That's kind of cool. Isn't it? Like, look. <laughs> that's unintentional. If you look at the order that I placed them in. So we have Dom. Uh, rest in peace and we have Marcus and we have JD in between them it's good so for those of you who played the story you know the significance of that um, of Gears of War okay here's the next one uh, all right so there we go no idea what's in the bag it's it's a this real interesting way I've never like I've never opened mystery minis before or anything like this so oh shit this is a good one oh yeah look at that oh my god <laughs> holy shit Excuse me. Look at that. Oh my god. We have the Swarm Sniper. Look at him. Holy shit. The detail on this guy. He looks like really smooth uh, in person. Holy shit. This is definitely... This is definitely really nice. Holy crap. That's gorgeous. <laughs> That's a really good quality uh, little figure right there. Holy crap. Um, if you guys can see that. Hopefully it focuses. The lighting in this room is not great. I apologize. As I said, I will invest in a better camera and better lighting as well. Um, but I'm just kind of placing those there. And I'll give you guys a second look at everything uh, after uh, we've unboxed everything. So I actually have this and I have two more as well. So that's it. So we're down to our last five here. Uh, I'll go from this side. Let's see what we get. <coughs> apologies. Uh, we're doing good so far, though. No duplicates. I would really like to get uh, General Ram. Um, let's see. I think that glow-in-the-dark pouncer would look really cool as well. I'd really love to see if he's actually glow-in-the-dark. Um, and if he is, I'll probably post that stuff on my Twitter and Instagram, uh, which there's always a link to in the description down below. So if you guys are interested in that. Um, just having a feel. Oh, I think this is... Sorry guys, that uh, I think this is Ram because I can feel his sword. Oh shit. <laughs> Here we go. Damn dude, if this is Ram and I just call that shit, people are gonna be mad. Yup! <laughs> look, he's being birthed from the bag. Look at that. Oh my god, look at him! Holy shit, dude, the the monsters in, in this set in particular, like the swarm and the locust, are look absolutely incredible. I just bumped the camera again, I'm sorry. Um, but look at that. Look at how good that looks. Holy shit. So if I could stop getting shaky hand there for a second. Look at that. He looks so good. It's uh, It bugs my mind that it's actually focusing when he has like a black cloak and there's a black background. But man, like there's his little... Uh, there's his sword that he shanked Kim with. Um, he's got his little uh, frowny face on. <laughs> his uh, evil locust snarl. Oh my god. And there's a look at his cloak. Yeah, he's really, really detailed. Damn, these Funko Mystery Minis are actually insane in quality. Holy crap. Um, and it's funny, I usually keep things in the box, but since the whole premise of... And you can't display them in the box because they're blind boxes. Um, I actually enjoying the fact that I actually get to unbox some of these because I never unbox my figures for Gears because I kind of... I, for Gears, I do the whole collector's thing, so... I think I might have just picked one up that's off screen, but this is the last one here. So we'll open that one last and we'll go from right to left with these. So, but I just picked one up that was kind of off camera there. So apologies if I'm <laughs> destroying someone's OCD. All right, so next one, look, ta-da, I should be taking them out on camera, shouldn't I? Sorry, um, it's this, you've no idea the, the small space I have to work with here, but I'm throwing that off to the side. Um, trying to guess. Uh, it feels like a Lancer in there, but otherwise I'm not sure who it is. It could be Kate, because I'm feeling it's like a smooth top head. That could be her beanie. Um, God, if I'm guessing all of these, man, let's see. Oh, oh, it's Coltrane. <laughs> shit, dude, he looks good. Holy shit, this is classic Cole. Uh, Gears one, Gears two, Coltrane. Damn, he looks really good. He's got like the more silver-ish version of his armor. Or is it kind of white? I'm trying to see in this light. No, it is the white version. Um, like classic Gears 1. And even more so in Gears 3, they made it more obvious in multiplayer. But there you go. There's a look at Cole. If it'll focus. It's not, 
the lighting isn't liking cold too much, but you can see the kind of white on silver there with this boost as uh, boots versus his chest piece. Yeah, definitely looking really good. I like it. Dude, I like all these. And no dupes so far. So we have three more to open. And so far we've gotten Dom, JD, Marcus, Swarm Sniper, Ram, and Coltrane. So let's see. What am I what do I really want? Uh I guess Baird. Play it's classic Baird that's in the pack. Let me show you guys. Um, if it will focus there. So as you can see right there, that's classic Baird. Um, so I think Baird, the Locust, and God, it makes me wish I had enough packs to get the whole set. And maybe the glow-in-the-dark guy. But honestly, anything else would be fine with me. Um, yeah, I'd be totally down with anything else. Dude, the golden gear looks really cool as well. Um, but yeah, on to the next here. Let's see what we get. Um, all right. Du, du, du. This box is being a bit more stubborn. There we go. All right. Look, there's the kind of crisscross you got going on. There you go. Uh, out, out it comes. There we go. Um, oh, the mat's getting kind of messy from some of the, some of the plastic. Uh, let's see. He. This has a lancer as well. Uh, hmm. Okay. He has like a different type of head. This could be bared. I shit you not, this could be Baird. I believe this is Baird. I think I can feel his goggles right here. Hold on, let me try and open him right there. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Dude, this is so clutch. Clutch IRL opening, no way. Look, there he is right there. He's got the classic blue cl uh, clog armor. Cog armor. Um, look at that. That's... <coughs> Excuse me. Thank you, camera focusing. Damn, that looks really good. Whenever it does decide to focus, there it is right there. Look at that. Oh my god, so nice. Beautiful. All these characters are so good looking. Man. One more. Come on, focus for me one more time. About there, mid-range, right? Is that what it should be? I think it's the lighting coming off of my hand, maybe. Let me stand over this way. I know if that's better. Yeah. You guys get the idea. I apologize. Um, okay, this. I was trying to be as complete as I could with the arrangement here, but I'm gonna have to start overlapping some stuff. Okay, so that's that one out of the way. I'll throw these all off to the side. Let's see what we get. Opening the next. Oh, that one tore a bit. Yeah, wow, look, that one kind of, yeah, the glue kind of got at that one there. It'd be nice, it'd be nice if they did it in a way that you could put them back in. And maybe like if you could pop the front off once you've opened it and you could display it then afterwards. Just a thought, Funko, maybe. Hit me up. <laughs> Alright, so there we go, there he is in there. Sorry, I should have done that more on camera, guys. I apologize. Ooh, what's this? Uh, could this be... I'm trying to have a feel. I'm honestly... Hmm. Here's something there. This could be Dell. Like, not opened, right? Maybe. If it's Dell, I'll be a bit freaked out. <gasps> no, but yes! Dude, okay, so this is my second wish. <laughs> you guys heard the list. I said uh, Baird, Locust, and maybe the Glow in the Dark Pouncer. So we got the Locust. I'm actually really so happy that we got the Locust. Um, as I'm recording this video, we recently got the Locust uh, to play as in Gears of War 4 itself. Um, so it's nice that we got this guy as well. Hopefully this will focus, please. Because he is really, really nice looking. Um, there you go. Kind of. Bit better. Uh, rotate around there. Look at that. He looks really, really good. I promise. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll do around. You guys actually has the classic Gears 1 hammer burst in his hand there, which looks really nice. Yeah, solid. Solid as hell, I have to say. Let me... Try one more time here, camera. Is it trying to focus? Yeah, there we go. I think it's trying to focus on something else, and that's the issue. Um, let me, maybe if I do that. No? Okay, a little bit. It kind of did it for a second. I tried, guys. <laughs> All right, let me wipe some of that there. Um, okay, then this is the final box. So, oh, what am I hoping for? Yeah, I said the glow-in-the-dark pouncer. God, that'd be so huge. I can't believe, no, you guys know what I'm about to say. 
the D word. Duplicate. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I'm dreading this. Let's see. Like. Okay, he's holding the Lancer up. Whatever it is. Marcus is also doing that. Hmm. Who else on the box is holding? Ooh. Never mind. You guys didn't see anything. I definitely dropped it. Who else is holding it up? Huh. Okay. So the cap, the camera actually cut there for a sec. Um. So who we actually got? So on the box we actually have Clayton is the only other one holding it up. So this could be. There's like three versions of Clayton in there. There's one of him with his tattoos, one without, and there's a golden gear. So this, if anything, I would hope this would be the golden gear. Let's see. I'm gonna do this quick because the camera seems to be running out of battery or something. Um. Oh yes, it is Clayton, and it's the Grub Killer version. Look at that. Oh my god, and the focus was fantastic there for a sec. That's brilliant. Thank you very much, Gears, <laughs> or camera even. Brilliant, brilliant. Okay, so let's see. I'll put him down there. So we have, we got no duplicates at all. That's insane. So the the, <laughs> the RNG on these is pretty good. Um, we got Clayton, Dom, uh, JD, Marcus, Swarm Sniper, General Ram, uh, Cole, Locust, and Baird. I'll give you guys one quick last look at all of them. So there is Baird, uh, regardless of zoom or focus or whatever uh, the camera wants to call it. Um, come on. There. There's a good look at him. Um, there's a good look at him, sort of. Apologies again for the lighting, guys. Uh, there's a good look at him. There's General Ram. Uh, your boy Cole. Excuse me. Uh, there is the Swarm Sniper. Definitely the long shot's looking real good with him. Uh, we have Marcus Phoenix. Yeah, the folk. It's definitely focusing for a second, but the lighting is just working against me here. Sorry, guys. Uh, there's JD Phoenix. And there is Dom Santiago. <laughs> Dom Santiago. What the hell was I going for there? Right, there he is with the Nasher. And then we have, uh, last but not least, we have Clayton Carmine looking real, real nice. He's got Grub Killer written on his chest there. Um, but yeah, that has been it for the opening, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. It um, definitely was a lot of fun. I hope to be able to get more of these in the future. Uh, I'm missing a few on the box there. Um, but if you did, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for all future Gears of War 4 content. Share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought. Subscribe to my channel if you're brand new for more videos. Share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.